Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis. And in this third part of our Practical Apache Admin series, we are going to take a look at very important uh, topic and which is Apache's configuration file. And in this section, we will talk about Apache's configuration file and in CentOS, the configuration file of Apache is found in slash etc slash httpd slash conf directory. Please remember that our focus is CentOS uh, operating system and it's not Debian or other Linux operating system. Therefore, we will keep our focus on CentOS um, operating system and the Apache configured on CentOS. So whenever you configure Apache, the configuration file is in etc slash httpd slash conf directory. Okay, and before we explore our configuration file of Apache, I would like to mention here a very important uh, thing, which is directive. Please try to understand it as uh, good as possible, or is and I'll try to explain it in very simple manners. That directive means a thing which directs or points direction or guide. Okay, and this word is very important since there are tons of directives in Apache. A configuration file and these directives have arguments as well so let's take a look at our apache's configuration file okay so apache's configuration file as i told you it's an etc httpd conf directory and if we use less httpd.com we will see that uh, this is the apache uh, configuration file okay and it contains the configuration directives. So if you remember, I told you that directive word is very important. And here it is. In the very second line, it tells you that it contains the directives. And these directives have arguments as well. So what is a directive actually? So if we go over here, we can see that this is a directive. Okay, server root is a directive and it's telling you that the server root is in etc httpd. So what does it mean? It means that the files for Apache reside in etc httpd. Okay, uh, then we have one more directive and it's called let's say listen, not let's say, it's called listen. And the argument you can see it, it's 80 and it means that listen on port 80. Okay. So let's go back to our slide. And this directive is instructing Apache server on which port or IP to listen. And also we can bind the IP with this port as well. Okay. And to list the directives, we use capital L flag. So let's try to run this command. httpd l, let's say grep listen and here it is like port was replaced with listen in Apache 2.0 so here's the directive actually listen which is this one okay one important thing guys I would like to mention here please try to understand that I am also a student Okay, I'm trying to learn and I'm trying to teach you guys. So if you find any mistake in my presentation or in my videos, please do point them out. No one is perfect. So I might make some mistakes. And by pinpointing those mistakes, I would try to make uh, future videos much better. Okay, so please uh, take a note of this. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, now this is very important document route. So what does document root means? The most important directive document root, this is the directory out of which you will serve your documents, uh, for example, web pages, and by default, all requests are taken from this directory. So we can search it from configuration file with grep command. So let me show you first, what is a document root? So if we, uh, let me use Vim, because it will show you in color vimhttpd.conf okay over here you can see that yeah one thing uh, this directive we will take a look in a couple of minutes okay so uh, one thing i would like to mention here that the apache server is running as a user uh, the user for this apache server is apache and the group is apache 
So you can see here user slash group the name or number of the user group to run HTTPD as. It is usually good practice to create a dedicated user and group for running HTTPD as with most system services. So here we are running it by default as Apache and Apache is the group. Okay, so server admin. This means that if something goes wrong with your server, where the server should send you the email. And by default, it's root at localhost. So you can read this. It's very documented, actually, Apache's configuration file. So server admin, your address, where problem with the server should be emailed. Okay. Here's the document root you can see the document root. So basically it's telling you the document root is var www.html. So this is the main directory uh, where your, uh, you will be serving your web pages from. Okay, so let me show you that. So if you remember, we created our index page and this is our first web page in our uh, second video, I think. And so that's why I placed that index file in slash var slash www slash html. So let's go back. And um, you can change the document root as per your choice, by the way. Okay. Now let's go to... Yeah, and by the way, you can always grab this thing, like grab dash i and mention what you want to grab, for example, document root. And from etc httpd com slash http. So dash i means in, um, insensitive, like case insensitive. So, okay. And document root over here, you can see that it's slash var slash www slash html. Okay, next, files.ht asterisk uh, requires all deny. This directive, it's telling, like this thing is telling to deny everyone .ht access. So the above line prevents .ht access and .ht pass WD. Anything which starts with .ht, uh, it will be uh, denied uh, by the web client. Uh, error log, the location of the error log file. That's very simple. So let's take a look again. I don't know why I'm writing full path. Okay. So actually these are some important things or you can say the important uh, part of the file I'm showing you. So the following line prevents .ht access and .ht password file from being viewed by the web client okay so this we have already seen error log is the location of the error log so where you will find the error logs and here it is you can change it as per your liking but basically it's in logs slash error logs okay and this log is basically let me show you where it is here it is so these are the error logs. Okay. And if we use file error log, we can see it's ASCII text. Okay. We are back. Okay, next slide. If module. So if module, the directive will only work if a specific module is present. So anything inside this will only work if that module is uh, present. For example, look at this in the config file, if module alias underscore module. Uh, this, this will work if we have the module and to check if it's available, issue the command httpd dash t slash dash d dump modules. Grab alias, so let's check this thing. But first, let's go to our configuration file and, and let's check alias. So here it is. So this means that if 
alias underscore module is present then this thing will work okay so this is anything inside this will work here it's basically it's starting actually so anything over here inside this will work uh, let me just here it will work if the alias module is present so let's check with the command httpd dash t dash d dump underscore mod and it's module sorry modules grep alias So we can see that the alias underscore module is present and thus that thing will work. So, and it's a shared module. Okay, and by the way, if you want to check the core modules for Apache, you can issue the command uh, uh, like small l, HTTPD, it's not the capital L, it's a small one. So here are the compiled modules which were compiled when Apache was installed. And these are the, or you can see the core modules and all other modules use, you can use this command. HTTPD dash D dump modules and it will list all the modules like uh, shared modules, static modules and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, now include uh, conf module. So this thing, uh, what I was trying to show you earlier so the include directive tells what external files can be used okay or you can say that what external files we can use or call from this configuration file so the include directive tells what external files can be used forward slash include from within the apache's main configuration file if we go back to our apache and here so include conf.modules.d and everything which has the ending of .conf so include everything this is uh, what it's trying to tell you that include everything which is present in conf.d uh, conf.modules.d directory and starts with anything but ends with .conf so if i have a file with .abc which is ending with .abc it will not be included doesn't matter if it's in this directory or not. However, if I have a file abc.conf, that would be included. Okay. So user Apache, group Apache, we have already explained that the above uh, field tells Apache server to run as user Apache and group Apache. Note, you must run httpd as root initially and it will switch. So basically, we need to be root in order to run Apache uh, HTTP. The reason is it's listening on port less than 1024. Okay, server admin, I have already explained to you. It's the address where you will receive the problems if you will face. Okay, so now we have uh, this directory uh, directive, you can say, and it's telling you to allow override none requires all denied. So the above section, basically, this is forward slash, it means the root. Okay. So the above section is denying access to server's root file system. This is basically allow override none and requires all denied. Allow override none means uh, it's basically for the .htaccess file. And however, it's telling that no one should be allowed to override the settings and everyone is denied to access this root directory or root file system. Uh, so there's a note directives placed in the main configuration files apply to the entire server. This is very important. So if you put anything, let's go back here. So this is the main configuration file. Okay. And if you create any directive over here, it will be implemented globally. However, if you want to uh, use it for a specific uh, part, if you want to change the configuration for only a part of the server, you can use your directives in slash directory 
directory match files file match locations and location match section so these are the sections uh, where you can uh, use the directives for that particular thing okay and we can test our configuration file with the following com command so if you want to check the configuration file let's go to our configuration file this is our configuration file okay and at the moment I have not changed anything if you know so So I have not changed anything and if I would like to check if my configuration file is correct or not I can use HTTPD-T uh, option and it will tell me that the syntax is okay or not. So if I change anything which is incorrect, let's say if I use uh, if I use the listen, let's say directive to a uh, listen and if I use the Apache's um, configuration file checker and you can see that it's telling us that syntax error on line 45 okay so if you find such syntax error you can just go use vim httpd.conf colon 45 and it will take you to the line 45 or you can use set no and it will be 45 and then you will use colon 45 okay and it will take you to the line with error delete it save and exit and this time if you run the command httpd t it will give you the syntax okay okay perfect so this is very small like you can see a very short video about uh, Apache's configuration file but very important one Let's go back and check if we missed something. So this basically directive directory index, it's telling to check the index.html file first. Okay, so let's say if you have two index files index1.html and index2.html so whichever index file you will uh, put first it will be uh, read first so it's like first come first serve basis so if you put here index2.html and then index1.html it will read apache will read index2.html okay then we are going for so this is the that portion or that part where you can use your own options directives here within that specific and it's not global actually it's for specific you can see that specific region so this is something very important and i hope you guys have a better understanding of Apache and this include optional so load config files in the etc http conf.t so we will see this when we will configure virtual hosts we can use this conf.d directory let me show you that this is the conf directory and over here this is the conf.d sorry about that this is the conf d directory and if we go to this conf d directory so anything here if it ends with dot conf that will be read by apache as well okay so now i hope that you guys have a better understanding of uh, apache's configuration file in, uh, and in our upcoming videos we will see some more uh, videos about apache and we will see apache in more action uh, until then, goodbye. Thank you. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and God bless.